In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll show you how to install a GlowShift 7 Color Series diesel gauge package into your 2010 to 2018 Ram 6.7 liter Cummins. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. The additional accessories featured in this video will make installation easier and can be purchased through our website. For the purpose of this installation, we'll be using a 2017 RAM to install our gauges. For safety, disconnect both negative battery terminals before starting any work on the truck. To install the boost line, start by using an 8mm socket to remove the four bolts securing the engine cover. Using a 10 mm socket and extension, remove the inner intake grid bolt. Apply Teflon tape to the brass compression adapter and insert it into the boost bolt adapter. Tighten them using 17 and 11 mm wrenches. Insert the adapters into the intake grid and tighten them to 10 foot-pounds using a torque wrench with a 17 mm socket. Place the female brass fitting onto one end of the boost line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing toward the motor to prevent any leaks. Then insert the line into the adapters and tighten using a 3 8 inch wrench. Run the boost line to the driver's side firewall securing it away from any hot or moving parts. Reinstall the engine cover. To install the exhaust temperature probe, remove the air filter cover, intake tubing, and turbo inlet to access the exhaust manifold. Locate a flat portion of the manifold and use a punch to mark the location for drilling. Starting with the 1 8 drill bit, drill a hole in the manifold, increasing the bit size until a size R is reached. Use a shop vac and pen magnet to clean up the metal shavings. Use a 1 8 to 27 MPT tap to thread the hole. Cutting oil can be used to make threading the hole easier. Use a pen magnet and shop vac to remove any metal shavings that may have fallen into the manifold. Apply anti-seize to the EGT probe adapter, insert it into the manifold, and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. Apply anti-seize to the adapter and insert the exhaust temperature probe. Ensure that the depth of the probe is approximately halfway into the manifold and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. 
Run the probe wire to the driver's side of the engine bay and reinstall the intake tubing and air filter cover. If you purchase the gauge package with the transmission temperature gauge, start by safely raising the vehicle if it is not already raised. Using a 20 millimeter and 24 millimeter wrench, loosen the transmission hot side cooler line. Be sure to have a drain pan ready to catch the fluid that'll drain from the line. Using a pick tool, remove the retaining clip and remove the line from the transmission. Use a marker to mark the straight portion of the cooler line where you will cut to remove approximately 1 and 7 8 inches of the line. Using a pipe cutter with new blades, cut the line at the marked locations. Deburr each end of the cut line using a deburring tool. Clean the debris off each piece of the line. To install the T-fitting, place a female compression nut onto one end of the cut line, followed by a cutting ring. Insert the line into the T-fitting and hand tighten the compression nut onto the fitting. Place the second compression nut and cutting ring onto the other piece of the line and insert it into the T-fitting. Hand tighten the nut onto the T-fitting. Apply Teflon tape to the temperature sensor and insert it into the T-fitting. Tighten it using a 14 millimeter wrench. Before fully tightening the fitting, loosely place the line back onto the transmission to confirm the correct orientation of the T-fitting. Remove the line and fully tighten it using 20 millimeter wrenches. Place the retaining clip back onto the transmission port and insert the line into the port. Use 20 and 24 millimeter wrenches to tighten the opposite side of the line.
Attach the female silver connector and the longer rubber cover to one end of the green wire from the three gauge wiring harness. Then, attach the male silver connector and short rubber cover to the end of the black wire from the three gauge wiring harness. Connect the green wire to the white wire from the temperature sensor and connect the black wire to the black wire from the sensor. Run the opposite end of the wires around the transmission and up through the engine bay on the driver's side, securing them away from any hot or moving parts. If you purchase the gauge package with a fuel pressure gauge, start by placing a drain pan under the fuel filter housing and opening the fuel filter drain valve with a screwdriver. Once the fuel has drained, close the valve. To remove the fuel line, release the quick disconnect on the bottom of the fuel filter housing. Then release the quick disconnect on the injection pump and remove the injection pump feed line from the vehicle. Trim the big line hose to fit the length of the factory line. Then cut the line again three quarters of the way down the line. Install the T-fitting into the cut pieces of the line. Using a hose assembly tool will make installing the line easier. Otherwise, you can lubricate each end of the line and press the hose on the T-fitting manually. Then, install the quick disconnect to the short side of the line and the AN fitting to the longer end of the line. Lastly, insert the pressure sensor into the snubber valve and tighten them using 18 and 22 millimeter wrenches. Apply Teflon tape to the snubber valve, insert it into the T-fitting, and tighten it using an 18 mm wrench. To install, start by removing the injection pump feed line fitting using a 17 mm wrench. Then install the AN fitting from the big line kit and tighten it using a 17 mm wrench. Place the line onto the fitting and tighten it using a 17 mm wrench and attach the quick disconnect of the big line kit to the bottom of the fuel filter housing. Insert the sensor harness into the sensor and run the opposite end of the wire to the top of the engine bay, keeping it clear of any hot or moving parts. Once all of the sensors have been installed, 
Connect the braided EGT gauge harness wire to the sensor harness wire and run all the sensor wires to the driver's side of the firewall, keeping them clear of any hot or moving parts. Feed the EGT wire, green transmission sensor wire, and boost line through an open grommet in the firewall and into the cabin. Be sure to keep them clear of any moving parts. Attach a ring terminal connector to the black wire from the transmission temperature sensor. Connect the wire to a clean, reliable grounding source in the engine bay. To install the gauges into the pod, start by applying Teflon tape to the fitting on the back of the boost gauge and attach the boost line adapter. Tighten it using a 13 millimeter wrench. Feed the wires for the boost gauge through the pod and insert the gauge into the cup. Then, insert the EGT and transmission temperature gauges into the pod and connect the gauge wiring harnesses. Using the yellow wire from the three gauge wiring harness, connect all of the yellow wires together. Using the red wire from the three gauge wiring harness, connect all of the red wires together. Using the orange wire from the three gauge wiring harness, connect all of the orange wires together. Using the black wire from the three gauge wiring harness, connect all of the black wires together. Use zip ties to clean up the wires. To install the gauge pod onto the pillar, Remove the side dash panel and the factory pillar using a 10 millimeter socket. Run the sensor wires up through the dash to the pillar and run the red, yellow and orange wire from the pod down through the dash. To connect the boost line to the back of the boost gauge, run the boost line through the pod. Place the brass nut over the line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing the gauge to prevent any leaks. Place the boost line into the adapter and tighten the nut onto the gauge using a 3 8 inch wrench.
Plug the EGT sensor harness wire into the back of the exhaust temperature gauge. Using a wire connector, connect the green wire from the transmission temperature sensor to the green wire from the gauge power harness wire. Place the pod onto the pillar. Ensure that the bottom of the pod is fully tucked into the dash and use the included pillar mounting bolt to secure the pod to the pillar. Feed the power wires from the pod through a grommet in the firewall and into the engine bay to the fuse box. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using expandable circuits which can be purchased through our website. In order to test for power, reconnect the negative battery terminals. Using a test light, locate fuse F84 for constant 12 volt power. Then locate fuse F93 that receives 12 volt power when the ignition is turned on. Lastly, locate fuse F79 that receives 12 volt power when the headlights are turned on. Attach the first expandable circuit to the yellow wire from the gauges. Remove the constant 12 volt fuse. Place it into the circuit and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach the second expandable circuit to the red wire from the gauges. Remove the 12 volt ignition fuse. Place it into the circuit and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach the third expandable circuit to the orange wire from the gauges. Remove the 12 volt headlight fuse. Place it into the circuit and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Connect the black wire from the gauges to the negative terminal of the battery and clean up the wires. Reinstall the side dash panel and weather stripping. Power your gauges by starting the vehicle to verify that everything is working properly and there are no leaks. Check the level of the transmission fluid and top off with the factory recommended transmission fluid if necessary. Cycle through all of the gears to flush the fluid through the transmission and recheck the level.
You've now successfully installed your GlowShift diesel gauge package into your truck. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE and we'll see you on the road.